So I'm back here on Arch Linux and I've been noticing that my internet connection is just not stable. It's interesting because it's very, very fast, the speeds, but the reliability is quite terrible. And it's really surprising because I've never seen a situation where a connection goes from 3 megs a second to 26 kb a second. And it's it happens quite you know sporadically and randomly. It's just one second it'll be really fast, the next second it'll be really slow, and it really interrupts my uh, updating situations, right? So I thought to myself, how can I fix this? And I realized that I had never had the optimal servers set on my PC here, but I found a nice tool that will automatically do it for you. And it's called a reflector. Now I think last year I may have used this on Manjaro, and I was trying to find it on Arch Linux, but I don't think it was available or something. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I, I can't really remember because it was a long time ago, but I think I do remember seeing this in Manjaro or something similar to Reflector. But I may be wrong because it was a, over a year ago and I had to use Manjaro for maybe, I don't know, a span of a couple of days or a week, something like that. But anyway, all the commands I'll show you, I will put in the description because um, it will just make it really quick and seamless to do this. But anyway, so what do we have to do first? Let's see, little Pac Man S to install the reflector. Now I won't continue through the installation because I already have it installed. So once you do that, I'll show you how to run it manually because you can run it manually whenever you want to have it push through this update, right? Of setting the latest servers. So this is how it's done. You first have to run it with pri uh, privilege, right? Because it's going to modify the root uh, partition, right? So then, of course, you run Reflector, the program name. Then uh, you want to set how many servers you want to save. And I've set it here to five. Then for the country flag here, uh, these are the list of countries. This is important here. If you have a country that has a space in between its words, uh, you have to put it in uh, parentheses like this. Right? And for each new country that you have, you just separate it with a comma. So I have the United States and Canada here. Then sort is the method of how it will sort it out. And I choose the rate, the download rate. Then save is where you want to output this list to. And of course you want to save it to the mirror list file. Then uh, you want to set the protocol. I don't use rsync because some servers don't support it. So it will spit out an error. So I just use HTTPS. Uh, then download here, the timeout here. Uh, sometimes my connection is, again, really terrible and unstable. So I use 15 seconds and I override the default five seconds to prevent the error that it spits out sometimes if the download times out. So yeah, let's run it now. All right, so I finished without any errors, which is awesome. So now you've already updated everything uh, in terms of having your, your mirror list. But let's say you want to have this run at boot, which is what I want. Uh, we first have to create the file here in this directory, etc xdg reflector reflector.com. Now this is very easy, and again, I'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But um, you're just saving the parameters, the options. So again, where you save the file, the protocol, the country list, right? Uh, and then the number of servers that you want to have, how the sorting is done. And I added these two here. Uh, connection might not be necessary because I don't really get connection timeout issues. I just get download timeout issues. So uh, yeah, you just save this file. Once you've saved it, do a sudo systemctl enable service and then to have it run at this moment you can enable it with the now flag here and it will force it to run now but I won't do that because I just ran it and you should be good to go once you reboot uh, sorry not when you reboot but at every instance of booting it will update to the latest servers which is quite nice because you know you want to periodically have this 
um, server list refreshed to the latest, closest, fastest servers. So, thanks for watching. If you appreciate the content, if you like Rin, if she's hot, she looks a little bit sad now. Um, but yeah, if you appreciate what you're watching, the fat fluffy hamster is cute, please give a like and a sub. And I hope that you found this useful.